Now we open the package chaser file configuring extended ACL scenario 2. On this scenario, devices on one LAN are allowed to remotely access devices in another LAN using the SSH protocol. Besides ICMP, all traffic from other networks is denied. Part 1. Configure, apply and verify an extended number ACL. We have to configure, apply and verify an ACL to satisfy the following policy. SSA traffic from devices on the PCB or Suite B network is allowed to devices on the Suite C network. ICMP traffic is allowed from any source to any destination. All other traffic to Suite C network is blocked. Step 1. Configure the extended ACL. We create an, an extended access lead number 199 and permit TCP protocol because SSS use TCP from 10.1.1. Double one seven dot thirty two and the Y card mask because the piece, uh, the network of PCB is slash twenty eight. So the Y card mask is zero dot zero dot zero dot fifteen and the destination. Is the network of CC is ten dot one zero one 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 seven dot zero, and because the uh, subnet mask is slot twenty seven, so the Y card mask is zero dot zero dot zero dot twenty one. And the port number of SSH is 22. We can use help. Uh, no SSH. So we can enter 22. And the second rule is allow ICMP. So we create the second rule permit IP protocol sorry ICMP protocol from any source to any destination and now we show our access list by using the command do show access list as you can see we uh, this access list has two rule the first rule permit TCP from the PCB network to 
the PC uh, to Swiss C network and the SSH port 22 and the second rule is permit ICMP from any source to any destination and now we apply this access list to the router interface as you can see we can apply this access list as close to the source it means gigabit zero slash one but because this access list affect traffic of PCA network so we can apply this this access list to interface gigabit zero slot two with outbound direction if we apply this access list to the gigabit ethernet zero slot one so the PCA can access it to the switch C network so it's not satisfied with the policy and the PCA cannot ping to the PCB so we should apply this access list to gigabit zero slot two with the outbound direction so this access list will certify the network policy so now we enter the interface mode and apply this access list by using IP access rule 199 in outbound direction we can do show run to verify As you can see on Gigabit Ethernet 0 slot 2, we apply the access list and here is the access list. Now we verify the operation of the access list. I ping from PCB to PCA ping and get the IP address of PCA IP address copy and you can see I can ping from PCB to PCA and from PCA, I can ping to PCB. I get the IP address of PCB here. It's successful. Now I test to SSH from PCB to switch C as I said username is admin and the IP address of switch C is 10 dot T As you can see, I can access it from PCB to Swiss C. Now I try to access it from PCA to Swiss C.
you can see the connection time out and the remote host is not responding because the access list is blocked the SSH protocol from PCA to CC. Now I try to SSH from PCA to switch B. And the IP address of switch B is one zero one zero one. The password is as you can see I can access it from PCA to switch B because the access is applied on gigabit zero slash two so it cannot affect the traffic from PCA to switch B and after SSS successfully from PCA to switch B and on switch B I try to SSH to switch C and I get the IP address of switch C and enter the password as you can see from PCA I can access to switch C so the network policy is not satisfied because only PCB network can SSH to switch C network but now from PCA I can access it to switch C. So how to solve this problem? So we can see that because the access is applied on gigabit 0 slot 2 in the outbound direction. So I can access it from PCA to switch B and this traffic is not affected by the access list. And from switch B, I can access it to switch C because the access list is allowed from the PCB network to switch C. So to solve this problem, we remove the access list from gigabit zero slot two and install it or apply it on gigabit zero slot one in the inbound direction and step two we install or apply that access list to gigabit zero slot zero it with the inbound direction so from PCA we cannot access it to should be so that's the solution for our problem. Here the configuration. As you can see, I apply the asset list in the gigabit Ethernet 0 slot 0 in the inbound direction. And I also apply the asset list on the gigabit Ethernet 0 slot 1 with the inbound direction and remove the access lead from the gigabit 0 slot 2. Now I try to access it from PCA to switch B.
as you can see, I cannot access it from PCA to Suite B. So I cannot access it from PCA to Suite C. And from PCB, I still also successful access to Suite C. That's our solution for that problem. Thanks for watching.